maybe let's not destroy the entire Supreme Court, uh, which is the response we're getting from some pretty prominent people. But I just want to—I want to just start with a little bit of uh, a commentary on the the backlash. So we've already seen, um, you know, pro-life pregnancy centers and churches being vandalized and targeted. Uh, that we've seen abortion centers targeted in the past and other things. We're really seeing vandalism and some rioting and some some stuff that crosses the line from peaceful protest to violence or intimidation um, on both sides, but right now particularly targeting the pro-life movement because there's a lot of backlash to them after this ruling. Uh, and, and that's pretty much wrong across the board. But what I want to highlight here is actually give President Biden a little bit of kudos because he took a pretty firm stance on this, calling for peaceful protests. Take a listen. I call on everyone, no matter how deeply they care about this decision, to keep all protests peaceful. Peaceful, peaceful, peaceful. No intimidation. Violence is never acceptable. Threats and intimidation are not speech. We must stand against violence in any form, regardless of your rationale. Yeah, so look, this should be like the bar, like the just the bare minimum zero, but it's not. Trump failed to adequately condemn violence on January 6th. Um, other Democrat leaders failed to condemn it during riots that accompanied the George Floyd protests. Uh, and so the bar should be low. This should be almost taken for granted that we would have a leader that said this, but we don't. So, hey, I'll give Biden a little bit of credit. Yeah, I actually love to see him come out and say this because it's actually been even less popular, I feel like, on the left to come out and condemn violence because, and I get why to some extent, because some people who did that were seen as um, saying that the protest during BLM shouldn't be happening and, and almost like went to the other extreme. So I thought this was a good motion for him to come out and kind of show like that there is a line that he does support protesting, but it has to be done peacefully. I'm a big believer in that. If you really want to see like successful movements throughout the U.S. history and actually throughout world history, it really comes down to peaceful, nonviolent civil disobedience and so that's what we need to focus on we should not be encouraging rioters or people who are going to harm private business or, or individuals and so um, it was bare minimum but I thought it was great and then I will say like even further than what Trump did when Trump was in office you know we often didn't see him condemning violence strongly enough so it's good to at least have a world leader who feels strongly that we shouldn't be committing violence which is again bare minimum but I, I think it does matter so kudos to him for that